guys welcome back to techdoz and in this video we will look at minimum index of a valid split problem which is from lead code number 2780 a prerequisite before watching this is to learn about finding majority element so i have already made a couple of videos on this uh, one is by using moore's voting algorithm and another one by using bit manipulation both the links will be given in the description below so please watch that let's now read the problem statement in this problem an element x of an integer array arr of length m is dominant if more than half of the elements of array have a value of x you are given a zero indexed integer array nums of length n with one dominant element you can split nums at an index i into two arrays like uh, you can split at an index i in such a way that from zero to i you you form the left hand side sub array and from i plus one to n minus one you form the right hand side sub array okay but this split will only be valid if i is not the last index it can be any index but it cannot be the last index okay and when you take nums from 0 to i and i plus 1 to n minus 1 they should have the same majority element that means they should have the same dominant element in this case the dominant means uh, an element which occurs more than n by 2 times so you can consider it like a majority element right so the same majority element should happen in the left side sub array as well as in the right side sub array Fine, here nums i to j denotes the subarray of nums starting at index i and ending at index j, both ends being inclusive. Particularly, if j is less than i, nums i to j denotes an empty subarray, right? Because it is not possible. j is to the right hand side, so it has to be greater than or equals to i. It cannot be less than i. Return the minimum index of a valid split. If no valid split exists, then you need to return minus 1. Okay? Now let's look at an example. In the first example, first you have to know about uh, the majority element, right, which was guaranteed. So the majority element or the dominant element is 2 here because 2 is occurring more than n by 2 times. In this case, n is equals to 4, right? Now, if you choose to split at the first index, then you have one element on the left and three elements on the right. So will this be a valid split? Well, if you find out the frequency of 2 on the left side, it is 0. So it is not occurring majority number of times, right? it should occur more than half times if you create a split at this point 2 is present on the left side but it should have been present more than half times here it is present only half times not more than half times right now if you split at this position at index 2 then 2 is present more than half times on the left side and 2 is present one time out of one element on the right side so this is also occurring more than half times so this is a valid split and this is the first valid split while moving from left to right and therefore the index 2 is the first position where we were able to split this array into two sub arrays left and right in such a way that the same dominant element is in majority on both the side and therefore the answer is two i think it is clear right now if you look at example number three then in this case the majority element happens to be three okay but if you split at the first point okay three is occurring in majority on the left side but it is not occurring in majority on the right side because 3 is occurring only half times and the definition says more than half times, right? So this is not valid. If you split at this position, again on the left side it is in majority but on the right side it is not in majority and if you keep increasing on the right side it will never be in majority, right? It will never be in majority, you see? So since it can never be in majority if you try out all the splits therefore we need to return minus 1 that means we cannot find any valid split point right so i think the problem statement is clear and in the constraint section they are mentioning about the number of items being 10 to the power of 5 and nums has exactly one dominant element so since it is guaranteed therefore we will always be able to find a majority element right but we are not guaranteed that uh, we will be able to divide it into a valid split right so let's see how to find the majority element there are two techniques the first technique is by using moore's voting algorithm and the second technique is simply by taking extra space using hash map. Now let me uh, do it by Moore's voting algorithm because the space complexity in this case is order of 1. Whereas in the hash map the space complexity can go to order of n. Right. Now if you do it by Moore's voting algorithm then the first item will be assumed to be the majority element with frequency 1. And we will start from the second item. If you want to learn it in detail it is already explained in another video and the link is already shared in the description below so do watch it. Now, if you see any other element than what you had assumed to be the majority element, you will reduce the frequency. And if the frequency reaches to zero, you will 
reassume this one to be the new majority element right and then you move forward if you see a 3 then again uh, you will compare is this equals to the majority element no so decrease the frequency by one and this becomes zero since frequency became zero you have to reassume the current majority element and so three will be taken as majority element and its frequency will become one this is just our assumption right when we see a one again decrease the frequency to zero and since it became zero reassume the new item to be the majority item and reassume the frequency to be one and the next two times you see one so this is equals to the majority element so keep incrementing the frequency when you see a non majority element then you decrease the frequency if you see a majority element then increase the frequency right you keep on going like this if you see a non majority element then decrease the frequency if you see a majority element increase the frequency right this frequency is not an exact indicator of the number of times this one has occurred it is not an indicator of that okay but if you are guaranteed that your array is having a majority element then in one iteration the candidate that you get in the majority element will definitely be the majority element so i know that one is present in majority because the problem statement already said that we will exactly have one dominant element right now once we have found it then we will try to create a valid split right now let's say that i want to create a valid split at this index number 5 now i have to check if it is valid or not valid so i can just look at the index and say how many elements are in the left sub array the number of elements will be equals to 6 on the left sub array whereas on the right sub array the number of elements are 4 that i can say only by looking at the index right but i cannot say how many ones are present on the left side and how many ones are present on the right side in order to do that with the brute force approach you might have to iterate and find out the frequency of one on the left side which is 4 and frequency of one on the right side which is 2 okay and then you see is 4 greater than 6 by 2 and is 2 greater than 4 by 2 and and that is how you check if it is a valid split or not and this has to be repeated for every split that you try right from index 0 till the second last index isn't it and if you happen to do that for every valid split you are taking order of n time and if you try n minus 1 such split, split points then it will become order of n square complexity right and you know that since the constraint says 10 to the power of 5 if you write n square it will become 10 to the power of 10 which is way beyond your 10 to the power 8 which is one second standard right so it will give you a tle so we need an optimization in such a way that when we move the split point from left to right we should maintain the count of number of majority element on the left side now let me say that if the count of number of majority element at this index 5 is equals to let's say 4 if i tell you that it is 4 then can you find out the count on the right side you can find out if you know the actual frequency of the majority element throughout the array so once you have found the majority element if i find out the exact frequency of the majority element and if i say that it is 6 and uh, if i already know the count on the left side which is 4 then i can do 6 minus 4 and i will know the count on the right side that i can do easily right but how to optimally maintain the count of majority element on the left side you can do that while moving this uh, valid split from left to right you can keep tracking if the current item is equals to majority element you can create a prefix counter so prefix majority element you can take right and if this two is equals to my majority element then you increment this counter if it is not then don't do anything and if this one is equals to the uh, majority element then increment the prefix counters so at this split point 1 you will say that one which is the majority element has occurred one time if you again move it to the right then three is included this prefix majority element will not change because it is not equals to the majority element right three is not equals to one if you again move it to the right at this point one is equals to majority element so prefix majority element count will become two and simply by doing this you can reduce the time complexity from n square to order of n for solving the problem right so i need to do a second iteration where i will get all the frequency of the majority element now if you happen to solve this using a hash map and not by using the moore's voting algorithm then you will take order of n space complexity that is true but once you do one iteration over it then you will get all the frequencies right so the frequency and the majority element can be tracked by just doing one iteration over the array but yes you have to still do iteration through the hash map right to find out 
uh, I mean, compare each of the item, which item is the one having the majority element, it may be the last item as well. So that will also consume probably order of n time, right? So it will be the same. Both the techniques are same, but hash map consumes extra space. And that is why the Moore's voting algorithm will be better. Fine. Once you have understood this, let's try to minimize the index for the valid split. Since I want to minimize the index, then this says that we have to traverse from left to right. Okay. So we will be traversing from left to right. Now at any given index i, if I want to create a split, then I should say that the frequency of majority element on the left side should be greater than i plus 1 by 2 because there are i plus 1 items from 0 to i and the frequency of majority element on the right side must be greater than n minus i minus 1 by 2 because on the right side from i plus 1 to n minus 1, there are n minus 1 minus i plus 1 plus 1 right so if if you just calculate it you will find n minus i minus 1 items on the right side okay so this will be a condition for the valid split check now let's proceed with our dry run so before doing the dry run i will be finding out the majority element and also taking the frequency right so max frequency is 6 and the majority element is 1 this can be done in two iterations in the third iteration moving from left to right I will be maintaining the prefix counter for the majority element just to keep track of how many majority elements are there on the left side. So I can know how many are there on the right side, isn't it? So first, let's split at this index 0. If you do that, first check if this 2 is equals to majority element. No, it is not. So your prefix counter will be 0. Now you check with the condition. Is the majority element 1 occurring more than half times on the left side? No, because majority element itself is not present. So this is not valid move to the right side you check the new element it is one it is equals to majority element so the prefix counter will increase so how many items are there majority element on the left side one item and therefore on the right side you will have six minus one equals to five items is this one count on the left side greater than half of the items well the total number of items are two and half means it is one so the frequency of majority element on the left side should be greater than one should not be equals to one right and that is why uh, it is not a valid split again you move forward you see these three is it equals to majority element no so your count will not increase and you will see that this split is also not valid you move forward you check this one it is equals to majority element increment the prefix counter to two and now check is this one occurring more than two times more than two times miss more than half the times no it is occurring exactly two times so this is not valid now move forward include this one Th this is equals to majority element increase the prefix counter this becomes three now is this majority element occurring more than five by two times more than five by two times miss it is saying more than two times so yes it is occurring more than two times it is occurring three times so this is valid on the left side but let's check if it is valid on the right side how many items do we have we have five items here so it should occur more than five by two times that means more than two times if on the left side we have three times and total occurrences are 6 so on the on the right side we have 6 minus 3 3 times right so 3 is greater than 2 and therefore it is also valid on the right side and therefore the first valid split is at index 4 and therefore i will be returning 4 as an answer right so this is the entire solution i hope it is clear now the time complexity is n plus n plus n because we are iterating three times whether you use hash map or you go with the moore's voting algorithm it is the same but since we go with the Moore's voting algorithm, the space complexity will be order of one. I think it is clear. You can comment down below to let me know which technique did you apply and please share your code which will be helpful for others. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number. This is the utility function for the Moore's voting algorithm where we get the nums and we are trying to calculate the majority element. The majority element assumed will be the first item with frequency 1 and then we will be iterating from second item. If the item is not equals to majority element, we decrease the frequency. Otherwise, we increase the frequency. If frequency becomes 0, then the current item will be reassumed to be the majority element and its frequency will be reset to 1. After iterating for all the items, whatever is the candidate in the majority element that will be returned. Okay. 
and since this problem always have a majority element so you will be able to find it without counting the frequency so first we will get the majority element the second step was to count the frequency of the majority element right so i can just iterate through the array and calculate the frequency of the majority element then the third step is to calculate the valid split from 0 to less than n minus 1 that means we will iterate until the second last index and if the num set i is equals to majority element then i will be incrementing the prefix count that means majority element on the left side will increase by 1 okay and the maximum frequency will decrease by 1 the maximum frequency will be telling me the majority element on the right hand side now the condition for valid split is the left hand side count of majority element should be greater than i plus 1 by 2 and the right hand side count of majority element should be greater than n minus i minus 1 by 2 right so if this condition is valid then immediately i will return that index as the first valid split point otherwise after iterating through all the indices if i do not find any valid split then i will be returning minus 1 so this is the entire code i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you